UK permits Julian Assange's extradition to the US. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange will be extradited to the US to face espionage charges, a milestone in a decade-long legal drama ignited by his website's release of secret US papers. WikiLeaks said it will appeal, and Assange's attorneys had 14 days. Julian Assange has fought for years in British courts to escape extradition to the US, where he faces 18 espionage and computer abuse accusations. American prosecutors allege the Australian helped Chelsea Manning take confidential diplomatic cables and military information, endangering lives. Assange, 50, revealed US military misbehavior in Iraq and Afghanistan, according to his backers. In April, a British judge determined that Assange might be tried in the US, referring the matter to the UK government. Home Secretary Priti Patel authorized Assange's extradition on Friday. The Home Office said it had to accept his relocation to the US because the UK courts have not determined that extraditing Mr. Assange would be repressive, unreasonable, or an abusive process. Assange's US attorney, Barry Pollack, called it depressing news that should worry anybody who values free speech and the freedom to publish. Assange's attorneys indicated they will launch a fresh legal battle, and legal experts estimate the process may take months or years. Robinson requested US President Joe Biden to withdraw the charges filed against Assange during Donald Trump's administration. Assange's father, John Shipton, also encouraged the US to abandon the case. Assange's friends and attorneys say he was a journalist and had First Amendment speech rights. They say the case is politically motivated and he wouldn't receive a fair trial in the US. Big Brother watch head Silky Carlo stated the British government's political prosecution of a journalist for sharing hard facts shames our society. According to Stella Assange, a lawyer who wed Julian Assange in a prison ceremony in March, the UK's judgment is a sad day for press freedom and British democracy. Friday's ruling came after a Supreme Court struggle.